Hello and welcome to Expo Hub. In this tutorial, we are going to learn try, catch, and finally. We will understand when try runs, when catch runs, and when the finally section runs. And more importantly, we will see when and why to use try, catch. Right? So let's get started. So I'll take a simple activity of read range. Okay? So when I type read range, there are two different things. One is Excel and the other one is workbook. So remember, while I'm giving this example, I wanted to inform you while you are using the Excel read range, it doesn't tell you which file I have to open. Okay. So that means it requires an attach window, Excel scope I have to use and tell open the particular Excel. So in this example, I am not using this rather I'm using the workbook. So while you are practicing, because many time during the project, this is the problem. Okay. All right. So I'm using this. So myself, guys, Rakesh, I work in one of the top IT company. I have experience of more than 12 years and currently I'm assigned with multiple UiPath projects. So these are the couple of small, small things where you might find challenge. And try catch is something that we use generally in most of our projects, right? Where there are a lot of exceptions might occur, we use this try catch finally. So it is very important to understand how it generally works. Okay, so let's get started. Read range. Now I wanted to open an Excel file which is there on my system. Let's say so expo hub test dot Excel. Okay, so now I want to read the entire. Excel. So I will not define anything here. Done. So now what is happening? Let me open that file and show you what is there inside that file. So this is a general file which contains the employee name and the employee ID. It's a test file. Okay. So what is happening? Now the Excel file is open on my desktop. You can see it. And the bot is saying you have to open that file. So generally what would happen if the file is already accessed by Microsoft Excel application and now the UI path is trying to open that file. So there are conflicts. So there will be an expected error. Okay. So you can see read range. The process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. So this is one of the practical example. Anytime we are opening a file from server, opening a file from your laptop, right? Local machines. So during that time, if the file is already accessed by some other program or by some user that time this will be problem right so we need to understand okay where it is opened what is that state of the file and all those things um, in case we want to close that uh, file right if it is opened and somebody left and went and uh, we want to just close that file and run our process so this is where i have to use try catch okay so if there's an exception kind of, so this is, a, this is called exception right the error which is coming this is exception that means the file cannot be used it's opened by something else so this kind of exceptions or errors we can handle using try catch. Okay, so let's see that how it is working. So the very first basic thing to understand how try catch finally works. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is I have to right click on this and click on surround with try catch. All right, so once I do this or else there's another option right click control plus T. All right. So once you do this, so the try section would try to run that activity. The activity where your problem comes, you have to put that in the try. Okay. This is the basic concept. Second, catch is the section where I have to catch the kind of error. So if I go to catch, okay, and below that there is something called add new catch. Click on it. So here you can see there are multiple different kind of exceptions. So to start with. System dot exception is the universal container of all the exceptions. So I will just go with system dot exception. Any kind of problem which comes, it can handle. Okay. If you are very sure, okay, no, this is not the universal one I'll be using. I know what is the exact error and I want to select a specific one. Then go ahead with that. So to for our example, we'll just use all both the different types. For the moment, I'll start with system dot exception. Okay. And click here. Okay, the moment you click after you select, this is what the window would open drop activity here. 
So what I will do, I want to see what kind of exception has come, message box. Okay, and this exception is a kind of a variable. I can change it. Let's say I want to type exe. Exe the app name, for example, exe app, whatever the app name is. Okay, so I'm using that. So I want to see what is that error which is coming. So I'll use that variable dot message. Okay. So while I use this, it will show me what is the error and I will drag another message box to show that I am running the catch section. So when it will come to the catch section, it will say it is running the catch section. Okay. So that way you know which section you are in. All right. So now uh, what is finally? So in finally also I will add another message box. Okay. This is just to explain the flow. Okay. This is not what you will do in the project, but this is to explain the flow. Let's understand this, then we'll get onto that. Message box. So here I'll say running finally section. Okay, done. No, no, there's no error. So let's understand first. It'll read if there are any kind of error, then it'll run this exception where it'll show what is the error and it'll say catch section is running. Uh, next one is finally. So right now the condition here is the Excel file is open. Okay. So the condition here is condition one excel file is open so you can see the excel file is open okay so now all i will do i will run it so that means there is an exception which is supposed to come so when i run it so what is happening the catch section got executed it's saying the process cannot access the file and this is the error okay if i click okay then the running catch section so it's running the catch it is still within the catch section and the last one is running finally section okay so now you understood so let's say i am going to okay i am going to close the excel file now and run it so do this you will understand run run it so the moment i run it it's saying it, is, it did not go to the cache section at all because the there is no exception, right? It is running the finally. So the finally section runs all the time, right? Whatever you are defining, it runs all the time. And the try runs, okay, uh, for the activity, right, all the time. So this only runs when there is an exception. Okay, so this we understood. So the, this one, uh, don't go with a bookish one. You try it yourself. You will understand, right? Uh, because many would say this won't run. So just try it, and you will understand. It finally runs all the time, right? If, even though it's closed, if there is exception, it runs. If there is no exception, also it runs. It will come to the file. We just saw it in practically. So what I will do now, I will just move it forward. So last time, if you remember, I have used the system dot exception. So what I will do now. In the add new cache, if you see it here, there's another section, right? So I know uh, when you saw that error message, okay? So let's run it again to see that error message. Okay, the error will not come because the file is not open. So let me open the file and now run it. So we'll read that error message, okay? That is the goal. So you can see that. The error message has come the process cannot be executed but it is not uh, it doesn't have the complete one so how do i read it the complete one what i will do instead of exception dot message i will just say just that variable okay exception app so you can change it as i said so now let me run it So you can see the error is system.io.io exception. So this is the exact exception I know. Okay. So what I will do now, I'll close this and I'll go back here and I'll create add new catch. Here I am going to select last time selected system exception, it's not coming in the list. This time I know this is system.io. Exception, io dot exception, right? So I'm using this. So let's see what is the, what would happen here. So now I'll click here and then now it is in IO exception. Here I am going to drop a message box. 
message box and I will say running IO so they, now the thing that you learn here is there are two different exceptions that is set one is the system dot exception and this is very specific so when this kind of condition comes when you are specifying system dot exception and there is a specific exception so if a exception occurs it will use the specific one it will not go with the system dot exception what is defined in the system dot exception so this is very critical okay so it will just use the very specific one so right now this is very specific so it will run this so we'll see if it is running this will show this message box right okay let's run it okay you can see that it did not run the previous exception it is running the io exception because this is very specific this is again a learning point and the final is running all the time right so this is what uh, i want to teach you and i can program it for for example in the cat section right so when this error comes what i want i want the application to be closed because if the application is open then it will not re read right so i'll say close application or close workbook i can use so close application and indicate that on screen so that will also understand okay so it will close that application so now run it will run that specific error and it will close it so now in the finally what i will do i want it to read it again so once it is closed i want that activity to run it again and read that file right because it did not read in the try section because there was an error so all i will do i will copy paste I'll try again copy finally paste okay, it's not working so I'll just I'll use a read range again workbook okay and right now I want to read that entire file again I'll indicate and I want to read the entire sheet, so I'll delete this. Okay. So in the file, so what is happening? Let's understand. Try it is going to read. There is an error, so the specific error will run and will close that file. And then the third thing in the final, it will read it. Okay. So let's run it. And in, in our situation, the file is open now. Okay. So let's see if the bot is working as expected. Okay, running IO exception and after this it, I defined it to close it, right? Okay. So it has closed the file. You can see it has got closed running the finally section. Now the next thing will read. So this is the entire thing guys. If you understood this, you'll be able to use try, catch and finally anywhere in your project. Please re-watch it again. So and re-practice while you are watching this just practice it okay so that way you will understand so please do subscribe guys uh, there's a lot of hard work uh, being done here please do subscribe that will help the channel help me a lot of hard work that has been put please do subscribe share and comment right thank you very much have a wonderful day